Isometric and Orthographic Viewpoint Presets. If we go over into our In Canvas Controls and we come over here to our View Controls and we click on this, we have a variety of orthographic views. Now, ortho means at 90 degrees. So we're essentially placing this object in a box and we're looking at it from 90 degrees. So if I click on it and say I want to go to the top view, bam, it goes right to the top view. If I click on it and say I want to go to the right view, it goes to the right view. And so I can look at it from, you know, front, top, right, anything I want here. Now, I also have what's called an isometric view. An isometric is based on angles of 120%. So when I look at it from the southwest, I'm looking at it between two planes. And I'm looking at it from up above, down from the southwest. And I also then have each of the other, I have at the southeast. So now I'm looking at it from the southeast, from up above. Likewise, I can also get these from up in my ribbon. I go to the view panel and I have my orthographic views and my isometric views. So if I go to the northeast here, I can see it from the northeast. And I can go to my northwest and I see it from the northwest. Likewise, um, not only can I get it from my home tab in the view, I can get it in my visualization tab and over here in my views I can also have it so I can actually go to the top view and see it from the top view so regardless of which view you're looking at it I can look at it from three basic spots I can come over here and say I want my southwest isometric and then I can see my view from there I can get it from my in canvas controls I can get it from my Visualize tab over here in Views, or I can get it in my Home tab over here under View. And I can basically do any of the six preset orthographic viewpoints, or I can get any of the four preset uh, isometric viewpoints. I can also go to my View Manager. My View Manager. Uh, we'll talk about later, but it'll allow me to do custom views. And uh, this always brings up what's called the view from the world coordinate system, the WCS. In other words, the Cartesian coordinate system. So no matter what way we do it, I'm going to end up with that view. So. Um, also, a thing we might want to note is I can see it whether it's in projection in parallel, meaning it's looking straight on, or it's in perspective. It has vanishing points. If I come over here and click, you can see I'm in perspective right now. If I go to parallel, it looks more straight on. And, for example, I'll come up here and say I want to look at the top view. Now when I look at a top view in the parallel, I see it straight on. But when I look at the top view in a perspective, the holes look like they're tapering off into the distance. Okay? So for, for close-up work, short mechanical style work, we tend to work in parallel. With architectural models, we tend to work in perspective. Alright? So I'm going to go back to my original Southwest Isometric where I started and these are now your isometric and orthographic viewpoint presets.